Hey, this is Miko from MO Sound Lab, and today I'm showing you how to get unlimited impulse responses with Miko Anger. Okay, and that's the sound of the Miko Anger. Uh, this is a cabinet simulator that's next level. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Miko plugin line that we have at MO Sound Lab, then I'll quickly run through the features. So, this is a virtual mic up plugin where you can place microphones in 3D space uh, using this user interface and you can export an unlimited amount of impulse responses and make your own IR collection essentially just by moving the mics and exporting IRs and as many IRs as you like. That's the cool part. Another cool part is um, you can use it as a plugin in your DAW, so you can record guitar with real amps or plugins and just disable the cabinet section or uh, separate your signal with your real tube amplifiers and then run that signal into the Miko and you can use this as the cabinet simulation and decide the mic up for your song and mix afterwards, which is game changing. Right now this guitar tone that you're hearing is very simple, we're running the amped ML800 with essentially default settings just have the preamp gain a little bit higher I'm not using the pedal board, I'm not using the cabinet simulation this is it, no boost, no nothing this going into the Miko Anger and uh, the Anger is based on an angle 4x12 from the 90s so this is actually the very first time that we've ever done IRs of the regular V30 format from the 90s, so this is very classic in that sense. Uh, also, uh, the cabinet, real life cabinet, has a metal grill that we removed because it adds some phasey character to the sound that we didn't really like. So, this is a really raw, direct capture of that V30 without any grill or cloth in between uh, the speaker and the microphone. So, this is a very unique and cool sounding pack. What you'll find is that the high end is super pleasant, especially for a V30, you're definitely not used to this and you have way more mid-range push than you're regularly getting with a V30. So this is how the plugin loads up with the Anger Sweet Spots preset, which is there just to make it easier if you're completely new to miking up guitar cabinets. These are the kind of mic positions that I chose for each of the mics. So uh, Anger comes with eight different microphone options that you'll see here. So you have a 906, 184, uh, 160, 421, Unidyne 3, 121 ribbon, 7B and a 57 to choose from. And uh, for each of these microphones you have a different sweet spot here. So let's just quickly have a listen to the kind of variety you can get with all these different microphones. When you double click on these microphones you can actually hear them muted. So um, I'll solo the guitars and let's just have a listen to these microphones and how they sound. So as you can hear there, they're all very different in their brightness and their character. So obviously if you want just one of those characters you'll just use one mic. But the cool thing here is that you can find two very contrasting different characters and blend them in together and get your own sound and use your own ears to get your own unique take on how you would actually mic up a guitar cabinet. While 
when you get an IR collection from any IR producer like myself, you're always limited to my personal tastes and preferences for the microphone position while the sound in your head most likely is a little bit different. So with something like the Miko, you can do it perfectly for yourself. It's very customizable. So let me demonstrate how I would go about using the Miko in this mix. So right now we only have one SM57 on the cabinet and it's very mix ready. The kind of position that I chose here is most likely going to be a little bit different when you're listening it outside the mix context. So let's have a listen to just the guitars with this mic up. So I feel like it's very unlikely I would have picked that microphone position outside of the mix context. Uh, let's see what I would do with it outside the mix context. So that is something that I would have chosen if I didn't hear it in the mix. So there's a different kind of purpose when you're placing a microphone for the mix and for uh, the specific sound that you're going for. So now what I would normally do would be to add another mic and kind of use that to kind of morph this single mic into more of a mix ready sound. So let's do just that. So in a matter of seconds I have a sound that I really like and I think it would be really difficult to recreate this in real life, uh, especially this quickly and fine tune it this well. So I'm using two microphones, a Vintage 421 and a 57, a modern 57 microphone. Those blended in together kind of have different tonalities to them and uh, this is the sound that we have out of the mix context. And that's how easy it is to use the Miko plugin. Now we're mixing these two 50-50. Obviously you have the mix control here. So for example, if I wanted to have a little bit less or more of the 421, I can just do this. But I do like the 50-50 mix. So now that I have this mic up here, all I need to do is export the IR from here and use the format that I want and save it as a file on my computer and that IR can be used anywhere with your Helix from Line 6, with your Fractal Audio Systems, XFX, all of the even older ones of the XFXs you can use these IRs in them, uh, the Camper and other plugins, you name it, you can use that impulse response anywhere and you can shoot as many IRs as you want with this plugin. For example, if you wanted to make your own IR collection, just place one of those microphones, move it around, save up to hundreds 
unlimited amount of IRs and make your own huge IR collection that you can access easier later but if I haven't made it clear enough the best way to mic up cabs from now on will be the Miko plugin this is where it's at another crucial feature here in the Miko plugin is that now that we have several different Miko releases we can actually blend those together so for example if you have the Miko Oring and now you have the Miko Anger you can choose one of these mics to be on Oring for example uh, the number 8 could be the Oring and now that it's on the Oring cab I'm actually blending uh, an Oring and an Anger cab together with different mics and I can do all sorts of crazy stuff that sounds completely realistic as it is realistic but just imagine having uh, two cabs in different rooms not interfering with each other and you miking them up perfectly with whichever mic you want to use and then just saving it as an IR like that it's just this is next level I hope I've made it clear enough for you it's pretty geeky as it should be and uh, thank you for your interest in the Miko plugin and go check it out right now bye bye